Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. So this is uh, my Broccoli Romanesco, but I found something a little different here this morning. Check it out. Y'all see that? Now that is a butterfly chrysalis. A butterfly chrysalis right here, (laughs) y'all. Yeah. So because of what I saw over there, I wanted to check the, uh, the milkweed plants just to see if there is any uh, caterpillars or this one. There's two up here. There's two there. Here is a big one right there. And it could be uh, definitely Marnotch butterflies. Yeah, (laughs) y'all. Marnotch butterflies. Oh, wow. There's another one over there. I can't see him really well. Wait, see, can I bring it? There he is right there. Oh, right there. Let's see. Oh, there's another one down here. Wait, wait. There he is right there. So there's a there's a good bit of them on these on this bush. It's a very tall plant. Uh, and this is uh my first year with this plant, but she grew so tall. Yeah, but there they are. <sighs> Marnotch. The Marnotch butterfly have found their way to the uh, <laughs> focus, will you? Okay. <laughs> to the milkweed, yo. Mm, cool. So about two or three years ago, I recorded a video about Marnotch butterflies. I read a lot about how they were going into extinct and what can we do as gardeners to help save them, right? And I wanted to be one of those people that helped save these beautiful, beautiful insects. I watched a lot of videos. I watched a lot of documentary about the Marnotch butterfly. So one of the things is that a Marnotch butterfly will only lay her eggs on milkweed, right? Milkweed. Um, so milkweed was the plant that we needed to plant in our yard. But what I wanted people to know, yes, if you want to help them plant some milkweed, but what I wanted people to know most of all is that milkweed is toxic. And it is very toxic. So if you have children in the garden with you, if you have pets, especially dogs. Now, I don't know if cats do this. I had a cat. My cat didn't do this. But dogs, yeah, they'll do it. (laughs) I don't know what she's doing. But uh, anyway, um, I made this video to try help save these guys right here. I was obsessed with the Marnotch butterfly. Because I knew in my area, we used to see them all the time. We Listen, they used to fly across Lake Pontchartrain. So there were two places they would go. One in Mexico, another place, I don't know, somewhere north. I don't forgot what it is. But um, I wanted people to know, uh, because I was going to be that one that had a lot of milkweed in my garden. So I educated Jada about milkweed and how important it was for her, first of all, not to touch it, right? It was not something for her to touch. The flowers are pretty, but they were not meant for us at all. 
right? So I was so obsessed about getting Marnox butterfly. I wanted them to come to my garden. I wanted them to lay eggs in my garden. I wanted them to raise their babies in my garden. And you know, also a lot of Marnox butterflies, they do not migrate um, here in the South. A lot of them stay right here simply because of our subtropical weather. And this is why they don't migrate to Mexico. Some of them do, but a lot of them, yeah, um, they stay right here and all year round. So I wanted to have food for them in some place they could call home. My address was their address. <laughs> yeah. And it's just so weird that this year... Uh, me not even paying attention. Now, I purchased this plant uh, early in maybe February, March of last year. And, you know, I never thought about this plant. Uh, I don't give this plant water. She's in the ground and she just do her thing, you know, and she's a beautiful plant. So, I wanted the uh, I wanted them, and I never paid attention to this plant until this morning when I found the chrysalis. And when I found the chrysalis, which is a pupa, that is what made me come over to check this milkweed plant. And of course, when I checked it, there is about 12, 11 or 12 um, caterpillars on this plant, maybe even more, but I'm excited. Um, so, um, Sunday night when we, uh, get together on the live, I will talk more about the monarch butterfly and how important it is for us to help them if we can, because the plant that they love and the plant that they live on is toxic. All right, guys, I'm going to go in and, um, I'm going to go and fix me something to eat. I will share with you all what I harvest. I just harvest some beets from out of the garden. And uh, I'll share with you uh, my plate. I'll share my plate with you. How about that? <laughs> so this is my last container of turmeric. And I said I was going to let it get nice and crispy all over before I harvest. Um, just to see what's going on with it, right? But also... I wanted to give this plant a little time. And there she is right there, y'all. She is a pepper. Now, what kind of pepper is this? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to let her turn fire engine red. And then I'm going to harvest her. Yeah. And I'm going to pull her up. But I'm going to let uh, my tumors get nice and crusty and she's getting there <laughs> and then I'll harvest her yep alright guys I cannot wait any longer so I'm gonna get this beat yeah could they have gotten bigger yeah yeah, yeah. But am I going to let it? No, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> and I think there's another one over here I want. This is just for lunch, y'all. This is just for my lunch. I don't need a lot. Boom. And um, I'm going to get some salad. All right, let's see. We're going to get that. I'm gonna get some onions for this meal. So, this is my harvest of beets. It's them. There's my beets. And I harvest, um, let me get this off of here, y'all. I harvest uh, my okra for today. I harvest a piece of basil for my meal and some more green onions. So, 
Let's go inside and see what they look like. All right. <laughs> so we're in my kitchen, yes. So these are my Shakoja beets. Now this is the variety that I think this one is because of the different colors. This is Botanical Interest Gourmet Blend of the, uh, the Shakoja beet. And as you can see, they come in different colors. They have the orange, the red, and the yellow. Well, these are mine. Uh, now, I could, I could have let them got a little bigger out there. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Yeah, I could have let them got a little bigger out there. Uh, but yeah, y'all, I'm going to eat the greens too because they are very delicious. I harvest some onions. So these are my botanical, I mean, these are my Baker Creek. Um, now my, my pack is torn on that side. I have a lot of seeds in here. But these are the uh, Baker Creek uh, Chicosia beets. I do have those growing out there. And of course, many of those still left. So I'm going to let the other ones grow. But today, <laughs> I'm going to eat these. So all I'm going to do is put some salt and pepper and oil on them. Oil on them. Ah, I'm sleepy, y'all. Sleepy but hungry. And I'm going to put them in my air fryer and I'm going to cook it. But I'm also cooking some um, some more ground turkey and spaghetti. It seems like that's what they want. My grandkids. So, y'all, I'm going to hook it up this morning. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I just wanted to share my Shikoja beat from Botanical Interest this morning. Yeah. <laughs>